In this video, we are discussing how to stop creeps or nosy exes from taking control of your phone remotely. First, how does this even happen? If you've seen other videos on the channel, you'll see that whoever might want to control your phone is not a magician. They don't just poof into your phone. And one way they can do it is by gaining physical access to your device and manually setting up any app they want to use. This can be easily done by a friend or a jealous partner if you are not careful. Now, to the part you have been waiting for, the first step to secure your device so that no other person can access or control it remotely is to lock it, basically. But you have to lock it with a secure password, so lock it. After that, get some backup antivirus software. Antivirus apps are like having a bouncer for your phone. They'll kick out any suspicious activity before it becomes a problem. So download one from a trusted developer and let it do its thing in the background. You don't need to worry about it. Just let it do its thing. Now, if you suspect that someone is already controlling your phone remotely, here is how to take back control. And the very first thing you do is disconnect your device from the internet. It might be as easy as that, but once you disconnect your device for, from the internet and kill either Wi-Fi or mobile data, just hope that it stays off. If somebody is controlling your device remotely, they might be able to, you know, switch it back on. But in a case where the device stays off, that means you have temporarily denied the person access to your device. So the next thing you need to do is to back up important stuff to your PC by not allowing the device to go back online, back up your important stuff, and then factory reset your device. Because that's the fastest way to remove unknown processes from your device. Assuming you've already checked and you could not see an app that you do not um, recognize, but you feel that somebody might be controlling your device re remotely, so you can back up and then carry out a factory reset. Once that is done, you have to change all your passwords, starting with your email, because it's usually linked to everything. Of course, every, almost every account you create has something to do with your email address. So make sure that each password is unique, just in case whoever that is trying to control your device remotely has access to any of your passwords, that will lock them out of all your other accounts. After doing all this, and... The problem still is not fixed. Let's assume it's not a hardware problem because sometimes we might have ghost touches on your device and you might think that somebody is controlling your device remotely. It is most times not the case. It is just what they call ghost touches. After doing all these things and you feel that the problem has still not been resolved, you will have to contact a professional or you can contact your phone's phone company's support team. Now, if you just want to be safe and avoid more touching stories with regard to your phone security, you can enable remote lock and wipe in a case of theft. And most smartphones let you lock or erase the phone remotely using things like um, Find My iPhone. Or There is also a similar software from uh, Google that you can use to track down your device and then wipe or lock the device remotely. Turn off Bluetooth and GPS when they are not in active use because these features are convenient but can also expose you to attacks if you are not careful. If you have questions or more tips to share, drop them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, hit that, li hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.